Have you ever wished you could turn your AWS console clicks into a production-ready code? Hi, I'm Stuart. Let me show you how AWS console to code makes this all possible. AWS console to code now supports Amazon EC2, RDS, and VPCs. The enhanced platform offers a streamlined interface for managing prototypes, recordings, and code generation. We can also do preview capabilities for EC2 instances and auto-scaling groups, and advanced code generation, which is all powered by Amazon Q Machine Learning Modules, or MOICs. Let's begin with a sample scenario of launching an Amazon EC2 instance. We start by accessing the Amazon EC2 console. Now within the Amazon AWS console, we'll notice the new console to code widget on the right. Here, we click Start Recording. And what we do next is we perform our actions. In this example, we're going to launch an EC2 instance. This will start capturing the steps being taken to create this brand new EC2 instance. We can see we've successfully initiated the launch of our new EC2 instance. And now we can click the Stop Recording button. In the Recorded Actions table, we can view the actions which we recorded. Also in the Recorded Actions table, we can review the actions which we recorded by using the type in the drop-down list to filter right actions. We choose the Run Instances action here. And I'm going to select the Copy CLI and copy the corresponding AWS CLI commands. This is the CLI command output that I got from the AWS cold, uh, console to code. This command here, we could easily modify this. So for example, we could update this to build a few instances, or we could build use this to build different instance types. This is a very simplified example, but the same technique can be applied to other workflows. But what does this mean? It now means we can reuse and we can execute this code again within our CLI. The single click CLI code generation experience is all based on the API commands which we use when the actions were executed. So in this example, this was when we was launching the EC2 instance. It's interesting to note that the companion screen surface recorded actions as you complete them in the console. And thanks to the interactive UI with start and stop functionality, it's easy to clearly scope actions for prototyping. Console to code goes beyond basic CLI commands. AWS CDK is an open source framework for defining cloud infrastructure in code, and you can also provision this through AWS CloudFormation. With AWS Console to Code, you can generate AWS CDK code currently in Java, uh, Python, and also TypeScript for your infrastructure workflows. So if we continue here on our EC2 launch instance theme, and we'll continue with this on our launch case, Again, in the Amazon EC2 console, locate the AWS console to cloud widget. In the right, or on the right, choose the Run Instance Action from the Recorded Actions table. Here, I'm going to select the Generate CDK Python. What this will do is, it will generate AWS CDK Python code. You can choose the Generate Python button from the drop-down list. The code generation is all built on Amazon Q machine learning models, which produces clean production ready templates you can customize for all of your needs. We can either copy the code or we can download the code. We could then factor this code into our Python CDK project. Now we can go back to the recorded actions page. We can reset the recording here and a pop-up will appear and ask us to confirm we want to reset and clear the recorded actions. The recorded actions table in the AWS console to code only display actions taken from the current session within a specific browser tab. So it does not retain the actions from previous sessions or any of your other tabs. Also note that refreshing your browser tab will lose all of the recorded actions. Anyone can use the AWS console to code to generate AWS CDK commands or CLI commands for their infrastructure workflow. It is recommended though that you test and verify all generated code before deploying it. 
If you enjoyed this video and want to see more hands-on technical content, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the AWS Developers YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.